Kelly's defense attorneys have said the women expected to testify against the singer should not be trusted. They are alleged groupies with agendas because the singer ended their relationships. As the trial continues and witnesses are brought to the stand, Geronda Pace's testimony has been questioned by many. Not only by the defense and core R. Kelly supporters, but her own family members. Geronda Pace testified on Wednesday, where she spoke about her relationship with the R&B singer. According to her sister, Geronda was obsessed with R. Kelly for years, and her goal was to get next to him for fame and money. In a recent Instagram post, Geronda's sister would share the type of person she's always known her sister to be. In the caption she included, statement from me and my oldest sister regarding the R. Kelly trial and our sister Geronda Pace testimony in New York. I'm not making excuses for R. Kelly. However, I will only speak on Geronda Pace, whom is my sister that I no longer have ties to, due to her continuously being manipulative, deceitful, and unashamed of the mockery she puts out personally against me and members of our family. Geronda was obsessed with R. Kelly for years. She stalked him and lied about her age to get near him with the goal of obtaining money, attention and fame. Our family for years tried placing her on the right path, but she had her mind made up since a young teen that she was in love with him and that was that. It is not fair for other members of our family to be mocked and ridiculed with her claims that no one cared about her and that she apparently had some awful childhood. When I was younger, I continuously supported her, despite finding many inconsistencies in the things she said, even as a young child and as a teen, however I wanted to believe her and didn't ever question her. Unfortunately, it took me getting into my 20s to realize the many lies she has spread and to be able to see past the fact she was my sister. I am only here to set the record straight on our family and make it clear from a direct insider. We had no parts and want no parts either. Thank you. Best of luck to her and others. Her older sister would follow suit with her own statement as well and she would have this to say. I've kept silent for the most part out of respect for our family, however even I eventually have a limit. Especially when lies are being spewed in regards to subject matter that is extremely sensitive and private to me. Geronda Pace is one of my younger sisters, and although it brings me no enjoyment to have to come out against her, right is right, and wrong is wrong. Her testifying in the courts against R. Kelly is her right, but lying about certain things, and especially bringing up my deceased daughter, whom is currently still being mourned, was extremely distasteful and unacceptable. My child deserves to be able to rest in peace. I do not appreciate having to relive trauma due to her trying to garnish sympathy from the press because she chose to live a lie and not take accountability for her actions. Side note. To make it clear, I am not in agreement to things R. Kelly has allegedly done, but I will defend myself and family. In 2017, Pace appeared on The Real Daytime Talk Show, where she described how she eventually got away from Mr. Kelly. Allegedly, he was preparing for a party at the time, and she'd told him her uncle lived a few doors down, and she wanted to go to his house to grab some shoes. He said, OK, but told her once she got there, she was to collect the shoes and return immediately. At that moment, when she knew she had finally gotten out of the house, she said she was not going back, she refused. She said, I lied to get out. I left everything behind. The only thing I had in my hand was a cell phone, and that's because of course, you need to communicate with him to get back in. I left everything, and I just never looked back. Mr. Kelly has pleaded not guilty to all nine counts against him and has continued to maintain his innocence. He faces 10 years to life in prison if he is convicted in the New York case. Check out some of our videos that you may have missed and stay tuned to our channel for more press release content.